just when I thought I was out, you pulled me back in. I'd given up bead making for years, and now all of a sudden, I just can't stop. <laughs> See, they are very addictive. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make watermelon beads, and I'm gonna fast forward you through this. I have made these before, and seeing them on Pinterest this morning just sparked my memory from what I did before. And I will link the picture of the watermelon beads in the description box down below. But I'm gonna fast forward through all of it because I'm watching a documentary of the, the Eagles on Netflix. All right, see you on the other side.
Okay, so I seem to have misplaced the watermelon beads that I made for the first portion of this video. And here I have round number two. They have only one coat of the purple container Mod Podge in them. On them. On them. And come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. So that's what they look like. This time when I did it, I think I used a different, I used my uh, Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. And I think I used a, maybe a little darker shade of green than I used in the other ones that I showed. But the cool part of these is, whoops, let's go this way. As I made the seeds with a Micron marker, a number three. And then I took the white Signo pen and just put little flicks of white on this on the left hand side of the um, of the seat. So here are what they look like. Let me take them off the toothpick so you can see them better. Here's what they look like. That like I said, the green is just a whoops. What is this? Ah, the inside of the bead, which means I need to keep going. Oh yeah, and then I took the marker, the green, the, the dark green marker that I used, and then I colored in the end of the paper so that it wouldn't be white. So I did that on all the ends so they look nice and uniform. So there are the watermelon beads. I would recommend you not use that dark of a green on the end because it looks a little odd. But I like them. They're okay. I know what they are. All right. So because I did the watermelons, I was thinking that there are other fruit that you can do. So what I did was I made Oranges. Come on, focus, you silly thing. I did oranges with seeds, and then there's the sections to the orange. And what would fruit be without a lemon? And you can do a lime the same way. So I'm going to show you how to do one, and then I guess pretty much you guys can figure it out after this. These guys are glued. There's no, I haven't done the ends yet and they have no Mod Podge on them because I literally just made them. So I cut strips of paper. Let me back you out. As you can see, my table is uh, really busy today. <laughs> All right, so I took strips of paper. These are one inch strips. I find the one inch gives you a really good palette to do things with. So you know what? Should I do a lime since I haven't done a lime? Maybe, let me look for some shades of green here. And before you, color your before you color anything I would advise you to take a scrap piece of paper like this because you know not the colors on the ends of these things are not always what you think you're going to get so I would take a piece of paper oh see I should have probably used that on the watermelon mm. and I run the oh, wrong end There we go. Those might be the perfect two greens. Ha, ah, first pick. What are the odds? All right, so here's my one-inch strip, and you know you only have to do just a small portion of the strip. So I'm going to start with this one. We're going to start with the... Whoa, we're not going to do that. We're going to start with the outside of the lime and just run the marker, the big side of the marker. If you have Spectrum Noirs, it's the large... Whoops, I'm not in frame, am I? Let me scoot up a little more. Um the large end of the marker, and then, oof, these good things are going dry. Run the large end down first, then take one or two shades lighter with the large end again. Now this one I think I'm going to do all the way. The others I have three shades, a dark, medium, and a light for the middle, but this one I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this light one all the way down. And you need to wait for this to dry before you draw anything on it. It does not do well. I mean, the Signo, the white Signo pen will do okay, but a lot of other things will not do well while the paper's still wet. So let it dry. And, you know, when you use an alcohol marker, this is the front and this is the back. You almost can't tell the difference. Um, it just takes a couple minutes to dry. So what I did was I took my, my Signo pen and you know how they had that white membrane? I just drew, let me let it focus before I start yammering again. Okay, I took the Signo pen and I'm gonna draw it down the, 
the rind, what is considered to be the inside rind or the peel, and just drew a line separating the light and dark green. And because the beads, when you look at them, they lay differently than other beads. When, when you do this, you want to be able to see you want to be able to see the sections of the orange and the seeds, not just down the middle like a watermelon is, because it's really not divided up in sections like these other ones are. So I took this and I drew a little half circle there, and then I did, I went out for the sections from that little circle. I'm not really sure how much of this is going to show when I roll it up. So I did plenty. And then I put the little seeds towards the inside circle that I drew here. Because usually the, the seeds are towards the middle of the, the lemon or the lime or the grapefruit, anything like that. You can also do an apple. If you want to do apple, do a red with kind of a pale white you know, kind of a yellow white color in the middle and then just do your little black seeds right here where the where you did the peel and the white. Don't draw a white line down but then put the little seeds, the little dark seeds right there so you can have an apple. All right, so let's roll this up so you can see what it looks like. Where's my roller? Now I did use a larger, whoops, sorry, moving too fast. I just have a hard time focusing. I did use a larger roller. This is not the largest one. This is second to the largest one of the set of five because I want to be able to see if you roll it on the smallest, come on, focus. If you roll it on the small roller, you won't be able to see as much of your artwork. So you need, you know, see, that's a bigger hole. I don't like the bigger holes, but got to do that if you want to make a bead like this, an artsy bead. So I just take it and put this baby in there and roll her up. Put a little bit of glue, which is not ready. I forgot to lay it down on the table again. Come on. Roll it up so you can match the rind together. And you might be able to match some of the white lines. Let's see, where's the, this is the line down the middle. You might be able to kind of, sort of match your lines. Mine don't match exactly, but it's okay. I'm not worried about it. And there you have your lime. Come on, focus, except for all my grubby fingers. And there's your lime. And then, you know, color in the end so you don't have the white showing. Let me tamp it down with my fingers. So now we have done watermelon. Where are the other two? Ah, where's the orange? He was, oh, here it is. So we've done the watermelon, an orange, a lemon, and a lime. So you could do a whole fruit bracelet, uh, like two or maybe two of each one of these, and do an apple. Any kind of fruit where it has an out part, outer peel that is darker, and then the inside is a, a bit of a contrasting color. You can do all kinds of fruit things. I think uh, an apple would be a nice addition to your fruit bracelet. Then you can hang all kinds of charms, fruit looking charms off of there on your fruit bracelet. So that's a, that's a fun summertime bracelet. Okay, so I've gone over my 20 minutes. I'm sorry guys, but I could not put out my video last night because I had this thought about what it would be so cool to do these other fruits and add them to the watermelon because I didn't want to do a separate video. So there you go. There is fruit beads that are just cylinder beads. Anyone can do these. You saw me do it. It's super duper easy. Give it a shot. See you later. Bye.